Another really powerful Sonic Pi feature is that it comes preloaded with a load of really interesting and useful effects. And these can be applied to your synthesizers and samples to change the quality of the sounds that they make when they play. I've written this really simple melody. And it's using all of the default settings that the beep synthesizer has. And I could obviously go away and play with all of those and change the sound quite a bit. But there might be some quality of the sound that I can't quite get by just purely changing the synthesizer settings. Instead, I'm going to have to add one of these effects. And there's an absolutely dead easy way to apply effects to a series of commands in Sonic Pi. And that is to use this with FX command. And that's going to encapsulate those commands in a block of code, and the effect will be applied to all of the lines contained inside. And so when I type with effects, again, Sonic Pi is really helpful in that it shows me all of the possible effects that I could add to these commands. And again, it's going to be your job to go away and see if you can find the effects that particularly suit the sounds that you're looking to play around with. I'm going to choose the first one here, Bit Crusher. So if I say with effects do, um, and then just click the align button so that everything looks a little bit smarter. You'll hear when I play this again that the bit crusher effect has been applied to my three notes that I'd already created. So what Bit Crusher does is it reduces the sample rate of the audio being played back and it creates that 8-bit Game Boy style audio which is a really interesting effect and one you might want to use if you were trying to create a retro track of some kind. You can even apply multiple effects to the same lines of code just by nesting these with FX commands. So if I want to include both the Bit Crusher effect and the Slicer effect which is one that I really like then you'll be able to do that by just creating a WithFX block within a WithFX block. And again, if I click the Align button, we'll see that nesting of the commands. And we'll hear now both these notes being played with the Bit Crusher effect and being played with the Slicer effect. And you'll hear there that what the Slicer does is that it sort of is, is cutting up our notes into lots and lots and lots of little pieces. And that can be a very interesting effect to add to stuff in our composition. So I think that's all I need to show you about effects for now. There's a, a few more things that we can look at in due course. Well, I'm going to set you another challenge in the next video that gets you out there and using effects like these for yourself.